One in five Hoosiers is unemployed in Indiana. That's more than a quarter of a million people looking for jobs. Jobs that are in limited supply. It's been hard. The recession caused many businesses to lay off employees. There are people out there who had jobs that paid good money and were just laid off and it's not our fault. Hoosiers lost blue collar jobs in construction, manufacturing and the trades. They also lost professional jobs in marketing, education and government. The result, people with diplomas or GEDs stand in the same unemployment lines as people with advanced degrees. Work One is known as Indiana's unemployment office. Most people use the facility to apply for unemployment benefits, but there's a process. You have to fill out computerized forms. You have to prove that you've applied for at least three jobs every week to qualify for unemployment. Lisa McNeely works at Work One's Northside location. We try to help them in any capacity we can. The center offers assistance with writing resumes, practicing interviews, and coordinating networking opportunities. They also provide fax machines, copiers, and telephones for job searchers. Some of those job searchers have never been unemployed before. They're nervous. Uh, a lot of them are upset. Upset. <laughs> 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 He's not the only one. Nearly 700 people go through the city's east side location every day. So many people that the computer system freezes. There's so many people that's on unemployment. And when you go to fill out or, you know, go to your voucher or something, so many people doing it, they won't let you go through. When that happens, vouchers for unemployment checks are delayed. No vouchers, no money. When it comes to Indiana unemployment checks, the minimum a person can get each week is $50. The maximum is $390. The amount depends on how much the person earned. But the checks don't last forever. The, you know, what's bad is we can't always tell everyone yes, you know, because at some point your unemployment does run out. Meanwhile, Hoosiers continue to search for job openings, send out resumes, and hope for interviews. Most employers aren't hiring. Everybody's kind of saying, well, we might be able to use people, but the way things are, yeah, you know, they're kind of just handling what they have. Until more jobs become available, Hoosiers have no choice but to stand in unemployment lines.